Good day to each one of us. And first of all, let us thank God for his day. And I pray that this morning God will bless us with his word, with the promises of our God. And but before that I will share the word of God this morning, I just want to pray first before we listen to the word of God. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you, God, for this day. This is your day, O oh God, and we want you to worship. We want to praise you, O oh God. And we pray, Father, that I share your word, O oh God, to your people. I pray, Father, for your power. I pray for your anointing. I pray, Father, for your touch of your spirit to each heart, Lord God, who would listen, O oh God, itong salita mo, Panginoon. Kaya salamat po, Panginoon, sa ipong patnubay, na ipong banal espiritu ngay po umaga. And we give you the glory of God, the praises, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. And this morning, I just want you to open our Bibles in Psalm 46, verse 1 to 11. It says here, For the director of music of the sons of Korah, according to Alamon, a psalm, verse 1, God is a refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Verse 2, Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Verse 3, Though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. Verse 4, There is a river whose streams make glad, the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. Verse 5, God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of, of day. Verse 6. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts, he lifts up his voice. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. Then, verse 7. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Verse 8. Come and see the works of the Lord and the desolations he has brought onto the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Verse 10. Be still and I know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Verse 11. The Lord, oh Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Amen. So this morning, I just want to share about when life tumbles in. Kapag po makita po natin dito sa book of Psalm 46, it was the cry of the Reformation. Isang pag-iyak ng Reformation. Without a doubt, sa him na to, and na po sinulat po ito in the days of our text that psalmist would have used it as the little, as the title of this blessed psalm. Title po ito, blessed psalm ito. For here, we are reminded of the awesome, of the awesome person, of the awesome presence, of the awesome protection and the power of a great God. What are we to do? Kapag po ating buhay, when life tumbles in on us. Well, let me give you the three truths from the psalm that, I, that will encourage us when life tumbles. Mga kapatid, when life tumbles in remember, you have, you have a refuge to hide in. So sa ating pong uh, buhay na nag Nagtatumble. So makikita po natin that there is one sa verse na ito, we have this una. When life tumbles, we have this refuge to hide in. Mayroon refuge to hide in. So sa psalm na ito was written during a critical time, during the godly king Zahizikaya's reign around that, around the year 700 BC so Sinacharyl and his Assyrian host invaded Judah. So they had surrounded Jerusalem and were planning to take the city. So Sennacherib boldly, boldly defiled 
the Lord in front of the people, saying that He could not save them. So, nandun po na talagang malakas ang loob, sinakirap, sinabi sa mga tao ng Panginoon, sa people of God, na nandun po hindi na sila isi-save ng Panginoon. But Sinakarib soon learned that God was in control. Hezekiah prayed to the Lord at the same time, at the same time the Lord sent on angel. The Lord has sent the angel and killed the 185,000 Assyrian soldiers. Do the second Kings chapter 18, chapter 19, chapter 36, chapter 37. So this psalm was written shortly after his this event as the people rejoice in what the Lord has done for them. God is our refuge and our strength. So tinan po natin a refuge to hide in. The need for this refuge is very obvious. So nandun po makikita natin ang need ng refuge na ito. We have a refuge that we can hide in. And that's why the people need for this refuge is very obvious. So such Psalm 46 verse 2, he describes that dito, we, as we fear, we fear the impossibilities of life. Yun po natatakot tayo kasi yung andun yung impossibilities of life. Do you see that the word sinabi po trouble, it means to be a, 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 a tight place. Ito po talagang napakahirap na sitwasyon. Isa po itong sitwasyon na kung saan nakukorner ka na, at wala ka, imposible po na maka-escape kasi isang sitwasyon na ito. Is that where you are, mga kapatid? And the Lord, are you the tight place where you press on every side? Tayo po yung na-press on every side sa buhay po natin. Where your options are limited. Na talagang wala na tayong magawa. Wala na po tayong matakbuhan. Limited ang ating po options. And... Your freedom is restricted and your progress is arrested. Ganun po na wala na wala na tayong freedom kasi nandun talaga po talaga talagang prinest ka na ng sitwasyon. Mga kapatid, the Lord will still make His presence and you can trust Him to help you. Ang ating pong Panginoon, He is our refuge. Then pangalawa, we, we fear the innovations of life. Nandun po takot tayo, we fear change. The word earth po sinabi dito sa verse 2 can also be translated land. And the word for is remove. Remove means can be translated in change. So that this verse could be rendered, therefore will not fear to the land change hands. Huwag kayong matakot. So it is not exactly what was happening to Judah. Sir Sinaporim was threatening Jerusalem and Judah was fearful sila po takot na takot so makikita po natin dito na uh, you see that most of us do not like change sa life po natin ayaw po natin ang change because we feel threatened na mga sitwasyon ng buhay po natin kaya ayaw natin ang change but here nandun po na we fear the innovations of life the changes of life so, but we do not need to be afraid or change of change. Wag po tayong matakot po sa change. For even everything on earth is, is altered. Our God remains the same. Magbabago man po ang mundo, magbabago man ang buhay natin, magbabago man ang sitwasyon ng buhay natin. We need to remember that we have a God remains the same sa ating pong buhay. Kaya mga kapatid, we have this refuge to hide in. Huwag tayong matakot. No, ako po'y tinanggal sa isa po sa ating kong uh, uh, sa ating kong station. Dahil nagmamahala po ko doon sa mga tao ko sa DBB Quirino. That is my first uh, missionary journey, the tribal mission. So, nagmamahala ko four years ako nag-stay doon and then here comes the change of my life. Sabi ng aming kong director na then, tama na dyan. Ililipat ka na namin, dadalhin ka na namin sa ibang lugar. So it's so painful, ang change na yun. So parang ayaw kong, ayaw kong umiyak ako, dahil ayaw ko kong magba, mabago yung aking kong, ang aking lugar na aking kinalalagyan. But we, do, we don't need to fear the change. 
Because we have a God, we have a God that never changed. We have a God that remains the same sa life po natin. Hindi siya nagbabago. Kung ako'y natakot, kung ayaw ko, ah, hindi ako sumunod doon sa utos na ako'y i-pull out doon sa place na yun, siguro hindi ko maranasan po ang mga pagpapala ng Diyos sa aking buhay na aking tinatamasa ngayon. Sometimes ganun po tayo, natatakot tayo sa change. But we have a refuge to hide in. Don't fear the elevations of life. You see, makikita po natin that we have this God remains the same. We have this God that never changes. Kaya sabi nga po doon sa Malakai, I, the Lord, will not change. The Lord will never change sa kanya pong pakikito sa atin. The Lord will never change sa kanya pong love sa bautsa sa ating mga kapatid. Kaya, don't be afraid sa mga innovations ng life natin. Then another thing, we fear the insecurities of life. Natatakot po tayo sa insecurities ng life po natin. Most people consider mountains to be one of the, of the strange and most dependable, lasting things on earth. They are secure. Nandun po ang akala po natin magtatago. Pwede tayo magtago sa mountain. Then doon na safe tayo, secure po tayo. Bakit kaya? Pero mga kapatid, if the mountains were to sink into the ocean and the sea was to respond by sending up massive tides and angry waves, we can still depend on the Lord. Nandun po na talaga, wala tayong mataguan. Wala po tayo. Nun po ang time na uh, kapag po may bagyo, wala tayong pwede mataguan kundi po sa ating refuge na walang iba ang ating po Panginoon. We can depend on the Lord. Kahit po tayo magtago po sa mga kweba, sa mga bulubunduke uh, against our enemy, nandun po na talaga yun po ay guguho ang mga lupa at nandun po ang mga karagatan ay nandun lalaki ang mga waves at ito ay tatama po sa lupa magkaroon po ng tsunami wala po tayong safety wala tayong security but we have this God na maging secure po tayo kaya nga po sabi nga po dito we can still depend on the Lord sa power ng Panginoon we are living in uncertain days because everything around us are constantly changing lahat po ng ating nakikita dito sa mundo Lahat po ating po nakikita sa bawat puntahan po natin. Everything is constantly changing. So, the government changes. Nagbago yung ating government po ngayon. The economy changes. Yung dati po talaga pinagpala. Ngayon po ay nandun po nagumikakos po ang ating po economy. Ang weather natin nag-change. Babago-bago ang ating weather the season changes, the time changes. We are constantly faced with change, mga kapatid. But though earthly changes, there is an eternal, eternal God who never changed, even though there are a lack of changes. Every, everything around us constantly, constantly changing. But we have this God that never changed. All of our secular things that you change, the sovereign God never changes. Though the government will change, the Godhead never changes. We have an immovable, immutable, never changing God. Amen. The nature of this refuge is glorious. The nature of this refuge that we have is glorious. Ang sabas po, sinabi po niya, patungkol dito sa refuge, the glorious nito, it is a personal refuge. Sabi nga po doon, God is my refuge. Ito po mga kapatid, ang Diyos po natin, ang Diyos po natin is our refuge. Meron po sa story dito during the war, World War II, si John Phillips, Ang isang preacher po na kung saan po siya po ay naninirahan, part of our nation, na nag-contain great steel works and yun po na shipyards. And he and his family were subjected to constant bombing. So nandun po sa kanilang sitwasyon ay meron po constant bombing. And nandun po la, marami po mga sirens po kanila po naririnig ang ingay and the sound three times a night. So the, the aircraft, guns, Ay, nandun po na yung mga guns sa aircraft, 
sa, air, sa aircraft would thunder and the bombs would come raining down. Sunod din po bumubuhos ito pong mga bala na, na, na ginamit po ng mga sandali during the uh, World War II. At makikita po natin dito kapatid, the first na kung saan po na, na yung pong shelter na tinataguan ng kanyang ama was erected, was nandun po nagsink and this got worse and his father decided that they should have a proper shelter. Sabi ng kanyang ama, kailangan tayong maditago na kung saan po ay hindi tayo makikita ng kaaway. Kaya po ang ginawa po ni John Phillips, siya po ay nagbukay, nagbukay po ng, uh, doon sa kanilang pong backyard at na doon po na talagang nilagyan po niya ng mga iron, yun pong mga bakal and covered it with an iron roof para hindi po sila. Then they piled the dirt from the hole to top, top of the root to give added protection para hindi po sila makikita ng kalaban yun po kanilang tinaguan po na kanilang hinukay ay, ay kanilang uh, tinapunan po ng mga mga dirt yung po mga basura para hindi halata na nandun sila at naroon mga kapatid nandun po na sila po ay nag-prepare lamang po sila ng mga water po doon sa ilalim na kanilang pinagtataguan ng mga pagkain po para hindi sila magutog And that was their refuge and strength. Secure for anything except, I do, sabi dito, except na kung saan po ang power ng Panginoon. So, nandun nakatago po sila sa kweba, dun sa ilalim. But sabi nga po, we have this refuge. It is a personal, a refuge with glorious, a refuge that it is personal na ating pong mararanasan ang refuge ng Panginoon. It was the toy, sabi nga po dito, the song says, God in Lohim, God in Lohim is our refuge and our strength. Our Lord is our refuge and our strength. The word refuge means a place to which to go for protection. Wow! Isang place na tayo pupuntahan natin para magkaroon tayo ng protection sa ating pong mga buhay. The word refuge is a military term and it describes a place of shelter. Ito po yung place of shelter po natin. The word speaks of what's surrounded by the enemy who finds a place of hiding to protect them. Yan po ang word of refuge. Isa po military term na saan pwede po silang magtago against the enemy. Mga kapatid, do you realize that you have a place in which you can hide? A person whom you can hold on. A, a person that, you can, that can help us and a protection that we can have in the, in the dangerous time ng ating pong life. We have this refuge, our God, our Elohim, that is our refuge and our strength, even though the world changes. Everything in the world changes. We have a God, we have a refuge that will never change. Yan mga kapatid, ma-realize na wa natin that we have a God that we can hide on, hide on. A refuge to hide on. Wow. Hallelujah. Kaya ako, sabi ako dito, that we have this, this kind, this kind of refuge that never changes. So, pangalawa po, sabi nito, mayroon po nga that the nature of the refuge is glorious. Pangalawa, it's permanent. A refuge that is permanent. Na nanotice po ba natin na sinabi po dito so, so, 46 verse 2 to 3, though, so you see our refuge is still secure, no matter what a pavels may come. Ano mo po ang darating po ng mga panganig ay ang ating refuge po is Permanent. Permanent na ating refuge. Kaya dumating mag pa mga national disasters, no one can touch the refuge and strength we have in. No one can destroy the power of God. No one can touch the power of God. No one can overcome the power of God. That is our permanent refuge. Our God that never changes. Our God that is immutable. He is, it is permanent refuge. Yung mga refuge po natin dito sa mundo ay nandun po, pwede pong maggumuho po yan. 
Yung ating pong sinasabi po na ating pong inaangkin na refuge ng buhay natin. Yan po ay mawawala. Yan po ay ma- uh, ma- ma- madidestroy. But we have this kind of refuge that is permanent. A God that never changes. Yan po ang Panginoon natin. He is our refuge to hide in. I like you po that the nature of this refuge is glorious because it is for purposeful. So God is our refuge. He hides us. God is our strength and He helps us. Now let's do together. Sila po'y magsama. God is our refuge. Kaya tayo iniingatan ng Panginoon, ng Diyos po natin, ang ating strength, kaya tayo tinutulungan. Kaya nga po mga kapatid, sabi dito, that this to go together, mga kapatid, ang life po ay nandun po na talaga nagtatakling down around you and the battle is raging. Is the storm blue, blowing? Do you need to hide in the shelter of the rock? Our rock is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our refuge. Our rock who is strong, who is mighty. Kaya po mga kapatid, don't forget that the Lord hides you that He might help you. Itatago ka ng Panginoon para siya may makatulong sa'yo. Hindi ka iniwala ng Diyos sa iyo pong mga problema if the life is tabalzi. Because God is there. Nandun, ikaw ay iniingatan ng Panginoon. Ikaw ay tinago ng Diyos. At naroon po, naiingatan ka niya. So the Lord is not a refuge where we can go. Nung saan po na, na tayo po ay tatakas. The Lord is not a refuge where we can go to permanent escape. Our, as escape our problems and to avoid our responsibilities. No. He is our refuge. His refuge is not a place of escape, but a place of enablement. Wow! Ang refuge po natin, ang Panginoon po natin, sa Kanya po ay makikita po natin hindi ito place na maka-escape po tayo, but a place of enablement. Makikita po natin ang enablement ng Panginoon na ang saan po siya po ay makita natin ang Kanyang kapangyarihan. When we go to the Lord for refuge, He strengthens us. He enables us to, to return and face the impossibilities, the innovations, and the insecurities of life. We have this God that will enable us, that give us the power to face the impossibilities of our lives, the innovations of our lives, and the insecurities of our life. My kapati, what's your fear? What's fearing you apart? What's tearing you apart right now? What's worrying you? Ano po bang nagpapaalala sa'yo or nagpapawari sa'yo? What's making it hard for you to sleep na hindi ka makatulog? Will you remember that you have a God, a refuge that we can hide in? Wow! Hallelujah! Yan po ang ating pong refuge na pinakita po sa Psalm 46. That God never changes. He's a refuge. He's our rock that never changes. A rock that is immutable, immovable God. A strong God, a powerful God that is our refuge. And the second thing we lost of is a river. A river to draw from. Wow! Mayroong river na kung saan po ay pwede po natin inapitan. Mayroong river po na kung saan ay pwede po natin inuman. Isang river na hini, inihanda ng ating pong Panginoon para po matay po makainom. Many times of our problems po and troubles begin na kung saan po ay nagpapabagsak po sa atin until we feel we have no strength to cope. Then, but it's during those times we need not faint for there is a river here in the South it speaks po about the river. Isa pong river, a marvelous river. Ito po'y makapangyarihan po na river na sinasabi po ng song, ng anang psalmist na ito. Isang river po na kung saan is a marvelous river when people began to settle in an area. So nilulukay po muna nila po ang river so that they, can, that they could have a, a, a source, a source of supply ng tubig. So gradually, ang cities po would spring up around the rivers. For instance, the city of Babylon, in Iraq was built on the Euphrates. So Nineveh was located by the Tigris. So Rome was located on the Tiber. 
London on the on the that Dita Thames and Belfast on the Log Logan. So makita po natin dito that marami pong mga tao that they realized how important it was to have a river run through a city. Kaya po hinahanap po nila yung river para mag-connect sila ng tubig at ito ay makapag-sustain po sa kanila. The enemy knew that if they could have cut off a city's food or water supply, it would not be long before the people surrendered. Kaya ang lagi kong tinitira noon ang mga kalaban po ng mga swaylita ay hahanapin po lang source ng tubig, ang source po ng kalang pagkain para pag kanilang nahanap ito at na-destroy nila, ngayon ang syudad na ito, ang city na ito, ang lugar na ito ay mag-surrender sa kanila. Kaya makita po natin how interesting po that Jerusalem was one of the very few cities that had no river, ang Jerusalem. So it wasn't until Hezekiah dug his famous tunnel that that naghukay si Hezekiah doon sa kanya pong tunnel that Jerusalem had a water source within the city walls. Wow! Doon sa 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 20, 2 Chronicles chapter 32, verse 20, na sa pamagitan po ni Hezekiah, nag, nag, naghukay po siya at nagkaroon po ng tubig sa Jerusalem. Even though na walang tubig noon sa Jerusalem. But because of Hezekiah na siya po yung naghukay doon po, sa isa po tunnel po na yun, nagkaroon ng tubig. It began at the spring of uh, Gihon in Kidron and run to the pool of Siloam about 1,770 feet south of south of the temple area. So Hezekiah covered the spring up so that the enemy would not know where it was. Kinover po ni Hezekiah po yung kanya pong nahukay po na spring ay yung pong balon na kanya pong nahukay para hindi makita ng enemy, para hindi po i-destroy ng enemy. So makikita po natin. It didn't matter how long the sage was, Jerusalem had an unfailing water supply, a secret river that keep it strong, the promised folk of the mysterious resident. Yan po ang pangalawa, doon sa river to draw from. A mysterious resident. God is the midst of her. Sabi nga po doon sa verse 5, there was someone in the midst. Amen. There is someone in the midst of that of that yung pong balon na hinukay po ni, ni Hezekiah it was the Lord we know of course who it was at nandun po ang ating pong Panginoon we see in the midst of the temple scholars as a boy now saan po nung 12 years old po si Jesus mayroon po siya doon na nakikipag-isa po doon sa mga scholars in the midst in the upper room and sa kanyang resurrection ay nandun po ang, ang Panginoon in the midst of the lampstands walking among the churches and the Panginoon in the midst of the 24 elders in the glory he says where two or three gathered together in my name there I am in the midst of thee wow hallelujah uh, nandito po sinabi ang mysterious resident na ito ang gumawa po yung dinag po na nabalod ni Hezekiah it was the Lord in the midst of that place it was the Lord working on that place that the water I nandun po ang full of water supply in Jerusalem. And who is the mysterious resident na yan? The psalmist po, sinabi po niya, the Lord of hosts is with us. Amen. So verse 7, the Lord of hosts is with us. Siya po yung nagbibigay ng tubig doon sa Jerusalem na full supply, unlimited na tubig. That is the river, a river to draw from. from. Kaya nga po, the word with us is in mind is Immanuel, from which comes the, the great the great messianic title na Immanuel, God is with us. So that is Immanuel, God is with us. Mga kapatid, the Lord is not only our refuge, He is our river where we can find the spiritual strength and refreshment. He is our, our river, our Lord. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, if any man Thirst, let him come to me and drink. He that believeth on me, the scripture hath said, out of his inner shall flow rivers of living water. We have this refuge. Hindi lamang po refuge ang ating Panginoon. We have, he is our river that nakusan po mag-flow ang living water. The Holy Spirit has come down from the throne of God to fill our hearts 
and provide us with an unfailing reservoir of spiritual supply. Sinusupply tayo ng Banal Espiritu. Kapag tayo maghina, tayo pinapalakas ng Banal Espiritu. Ang question po, are you tapping? Are you tapping it? You know, was a source of water supply at in pong Panginoon. Are you allowing the Lord to refresh? Are you allowing the Lord to restore you? Are you allowing the Lord to revive you? When life tumbles, it, remember, you have, you have a river to draw from. Wow! You have a river to draw from. It is the Lord. Kapag nakita na po natin na tayo natutuyo na spiritually, nakikita na po natin na parang wala na tayong lakas spiritually, ayaw na natin manalangin, ayaw na natin magbasa ng salita ni Lord, ayaw na natin magpag-fellship sa Panginoon. But we have this kind of river, ang sapong river that, uh, that we can draw from, our mysterious, marvelous river, a mysterious residence sa river na yon. It, it, it is the Lord, our, our God. Are you allowing the Lord to refresh you? Are you allowing the Lord to restore you? Are you allowing the Lord to revive you, mga kapatid? We have a river to draw from if our life tumbles in. Pangatlo po, if our life tumbles in, a ruler to lean on. Wow! A ruler to lean on. You see that the Most High ruler, sabi nyo si Daniel chapter 4 verse 17, that the God, the God whose power is unlimited. Wow! A ruler to lean on. Asya po yung ruler po natin. Now, sabi that we can lean on to God because sabi po, the power of that ruler is unlimited. The psalmist says, Come, behold the works of the Lord. That's a verse 8. Nakikita po natin that Sinakarim and his host had surrounded Jerusalem. The situation looked desperate for the time. Then God sent down one angel to deal with the besieging angel. Think of it, mga kapatid. An angel in one night and the mighty Assyrian army was no more. Isang angel na po pinadala ng Panginoon. Ang Assyrian armies ay namatay po silang lahat. Because of the power of God. Because we have this ruler that we can lean on. We can have this ruler just to lean on because his power is unlimited in our lives. Then God can do a miracle sa buhay po natin. So the psalmist Luke had looked one morning. Doon po sa battle po na yun, sa Jerusalem. And he had seen the dead courts of the Syrians and, and cried, Come, behold! Mga kapatid, as we are engaged in the battle, not with Sinagrib and his cause, but we, but with Satan and his cause who are to, dis to destroy our lives, to destroy our homes, to destroy our testimony, but Thanks be to God. God bless us. Greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. That is a ruler to be known. Amen. A ruler na ito has a pow his power is unlimited. A ruler na ito, his purpose is undisguised. So when life tackles in, how do you get help from God? Paano po tayo bumili ng tulong sa ating pong Panginoon? The answer is very shocking po. We must be still, sabi to sa verse 14 and 10. Do you know what the, that means? Be still? It means take your hands off and let me God in your situation. Let me do something in your situation. Yan po sinasabi po, ibig sabihin po, na, na be still. Take off your hands to that situation. Let the Lord do something sa buhay po natin. This word means to cease the striving, to stop working on it, and relax in what you are doing because God will do something in your life. Because He is a ruler to lean on. His purpose is undisguised. Have you released your cares into God's hands? Listen po mga kapatid, only the Lord can solve the insolvable. So storm, the storm ng ating life ay nandun po, makikita natin, it is only God can solve it. So we must release our cares to the Lord. Ibigay natin ang ating mga kabigatan sa Panginoon. 1 Peter chapter 1, 
Verse 7, sabi ng Panginoon, casting all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. We must release our cares to God. Lord, hindi na namin kaya, Panginoon, ang sitwasyon na ito, Ama. Kaya, Panginoon, ito na, release namin, Lord. And gusto namin makita yung kamay, gumagalaw sa aming sitwasyon. Because we have this ruler to lean on. Hallelujah. Yan po, mga kapatid. We must trust. We must trust in the Lord. The Lord of course is with us. Kung ang Panginoon ay nasa atin, hindi tayo dapat matakot because He is a ruler to lean on. Ang kanyang purpose is undisguised. At hindi natatapos po yung purpose po niya na undisguised. Mayroon pa po ginawa ang Panginoon. He's a person. is unequal. Hindi po siya pwedeng masuka. Listen to God's testimony. Sabi niya, I am God. Listen to the soundest testimony. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Those are verse 10. Very encouraging po. Hindi sinabi po ng God of Abraham is our refuge. Hindi sinabi po ng soundest. Abraham was a great man of faith. And we, we would expect God to help him. But Jacob was a failure and a schemer. And it encouraged us to think of what of my God as the God of Jacob. That po kanay po kalagi po tayo nag up more like Jacob. Now saan tayo po ay failure sa harapan ng Panginoon. But, mga kapatid, even when we fail the Lord, try to do things on our own way. The Lord promises that He shall be with us and He will help us. Think of it. The Lord of hosts is with us. The mighty Jehovah. The, the mighty Jehovah. Now, saan po ay nandun po yung kanyang host of angels na nagpitigay po sa atin po na tumutulong po sa atin an angel. One angel in one night could smile Sa kay sinakrit at sa gawin, talunan ka na. That is the power of God. Mayroon siyang post of angels na umutusan po niya para po tayo at tulungan. All the angels of God are mustered around His throne. They rush to do His bidding. Andyan lamang po ang angel ng Panginoon at sila'y naghihintay. Sa utos lamang ng Diyos ay natuwan sila po'y tatakbo na. They are sent to minister to those of us who are the ears of salvation. Ito pong patagapagmana ng salvation ng Panginoon. Andyan yung mga anghel na utusan ng Panginoon para tayo tulungan. But the good news is better than that. It does not say that this, that this cause are with us. It says that the Lord of hosts is with us. Even there are angels, but the Lord of hosts is with us. Hallelujah. Yan po sinabi mga kapatid. He is our ruler. Wow! Hallelujah! Yan po sinabi ng Panginoon. He is our ruler to be known. Amen! Kaya nga po sinabi po dito that when life travels in, we have a refuge to hide in. We have a refuge which is God, the powerful God that we can, we can run to God for help. He is our refuge that is unchanging, a refuge that is immovable, a refuge that is powerful. And another thing is a river to draw from. May po river to draw from. Na kapag po tayo nakaharap na po sa mga sitwasyon po natin ang hirap, sitwasyon po natin ngayon ang hirap po na para po bang nakukulong ka, wala kang freedom. But we have a God na doon po na talagang halos mamamatay na yung ating mga spirits kasi bawal po ang lahat ng bagay, bawal po tayo mag-gather po dahil, dahil sa sitwasyon na ito. But we have a God, a river to draw from. We have a God that we can, that this river is a marvelous river na pwede po natin pagkunan po ng ating strength and it is the power of God that will sustain us a river flowing of water. And there is a mysterious resident that it is only God who can supply that river, uh, that, that, that river, uh, overflowing river. It's the power of God that could sustain us in times when our life tumbles in. And we have this ruler to lean on. 
Hallelujah! Ang ruler nito ay hindi nagpapago. Ang ruler nito ay makikita natin that his power is unlimited. Wala pong makakatumbas sa kapangyarihan ng ating Panginoon. He is a powerful God that hindi po pwedeng matalo po ng singuhan. Dahil ang Diyos po natin, ang kanyang power is unlimited. Mga kapatid, you have a ruler to lean on. Hallelujah. You have a ruler to lean on when, the, when your life tumbles in. And you have this kind of purpose po niya is at this God's plantaran po ang purpose na pwede sa atin. Sabi niya, ibigay mo lang sa akin lahat. Hands off ka na ka, anak. Huwag mo lang pilitin kasi hindi mo kaya yan. Ibigay mo sa akin. Casting all your cares upon you for he cares for you. That is our refuge to lean on. And we have this person and in unequaled. Walang pwedeng tumumbas sa ating Panginoon. Walang pwedeng tumumbas sa kapangyarihan ng ating buhay ng Diyos. Dahil meron tayo sa pong tao na pwede natin i-trust ang ating sarili. And that person is our Lord, our God. Our God that never changes. Our God, a God na kung saan po ay hindi po na nag-iiwan sa atin, a God po na hindi po tayo pinapabayaan, that is our ruler to lean on. Hallelujah! Kaya when life comes in, yung tatlo na yan mga kapatid, a refuge to hide in, yan po, a river to draw from, and a ruler to lean on, yan po ang sinabi po sa Psalm 46. Kaya panghawakan po natin ang pangako ng Diyos na ito. Hallelujah! Salamat po sa Panginoon sa kanya po encouragement ngayon po baga. God bless po sa bawat sa inyo at kayo po yung pagpalain ng Panginoon sa inyo pong pakikinig. Nawa po kayo po ay napalakas sa mensahe nito. At nandun po ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon siyang patuloy na managana po sa ating pong mga buhay. Kaya salamat po mga kapatid, mayroon tayong ruler na hindi po natitinag then unlimited ang power po niya. We have a refuge na pwede natin itaguan. And we have these rivers na nag-flow. Rivers to draw from. Na kapag tayo nauuraw, pwede tayo inyong. Hallelujah. Kaya kapatid, maghawakan natin ang tatlong ito. When your life tumbles in, we have a refuge to hide in. We have a river to draw from. And we have a ruler God bless po sa bawat isa sa akin. Thank you, Lord. Panginoon, salamat po, Ama, sa itong mensahe na itong umaga, patuloy po pagpalain ng bawat Christian na pipiling. Dalangin po Diyos na ikaw po ang siyang pagbukas na kalang mga puso at sila pagpalain ng mga spiritual na mga bagay, Panginoon. Salamat sa iyong encouragement sa bawat isa sa akin. And Lord, pagpalain po sila sa itong mga buhay. Ingatan niyo po ang bawat isa sa akin. Because you are our refuge to hide in. And we have a river to draw. And we have a ruler to lean on. Thank you, God, sa mga pangako nito. Sa pangalan ng Jesus, ito po ang aming pong samot na lang. Amen.